this is our support site where we have all the various tickets and we want to add, add a ticket button here on this site. So currently I'm looking at our dev environment. In UAT it's the same thing and in prod it's the same thing. So what I will do is I'll go into Visual Studio. I already have my button written, so I'll just remove it as a comment and I will build my code so that it can deploy it. Got my pending change, add in my button, and I'm gonna check it in. What happens now is by checking the change, automatically it's a continuous integration, a build is created. So if I look at the build that's created, here I see the build that was triggered by my check-in. So the build is started, it will build a code and follow the build definition that we have for the application. Now that we see my build actually just hit the point where it creates a build in, in release and then completes. So if I go look inside of in release, I will find that my release was created. So I get into that release itself and I can see the log of the actions of releasing on the server. So here we see that we had automatic approval to deploy. We actually did a deployment of these four components. We can look at the log of that deployment, so what happened on the target server. And I can actually go look on the target application itself and see that in my dev environment, the create new button was added. So I'm satisfied with what I see. I run my test on the button and then I go to my in release explorer on the web client to actually look at the specific release now that is currently in dev, which has the four action that it did to install it and shows me the build I just put there. And I will approve it to go into the next environment. And now I'm going to the next environment. So if I go back to in release, I see my build here now that has advanced to the next stage. And it's actually currently doing its deployment in QA. So um, I can track it now in the details. Now it's completed in QA. So if I go in my QA environment, I will see that my create new button was added in QA. It's not yet in production. So again, if I go to in release, I can approve inside in release Windows client as well as on the web client we've just seen. So here I can go and approve installing it into production because everything is fine. Here I'm asked to approve getting on the final in production if I want to do it now or later. So in this case we'll just go up now to complete my deployment. Then basically my deployment again is happening so I can track it here if I want. And once it's completed, the actual release transaction will be completed, giving me the history of everything we've installed, all the logs of, and all the approvals. Once it's in place, then I can actually go look again onto the environment, look at production. The create new button was added.